Hello everybody, it's Marty Hosking, Keller Williams, Greater Omaha. I'm just taking a little break here from my phone calling. I love getting in touch with folks at the beginning of the year. We plan out the year, see what kind of real estate needs are out there, and just, just to connect with my people. Um, uh, I love what I do and I love uh, the relationships that I've been able to establish with uh, many of you uh, and uh, hopefully some more of you in the next year. Um, but what has been kept coming up in the conversations that... Uh, Know, prompted me to to drop in with this little message on the market is that people really are concerned that the market is crashing, um, that everything has gone to heck, and that uh, even their plans to sell and downsize or sell and upsize or relocate, uh, those need to go on hold. Hold everything, stop everything. Um, we're, we've been watching the national news and, and, and everything's crashing. Well, I have some news to you for you, spoiler alert. Not so in Omaha. You're going to be um, pleasantly surprised here uh, with some of the stats. And I just rolled up my sleeve like everybody else, and I said, I want to know what they are. We're going to compare this week last year, this same week last year compared to this week, this year, just the last week, uh, um, the last seven days in January here and the same days back in 2022. And you might be surprised. Uh, you're right. Uh, you've observed signs are staying longer in the yard. You don't see those soul signs so quickly. Houses are sitting longer. Absolutely, you're right. And that, that confirmed my thoughts as well. Um, the average uh, days on market last year at this time was 15, were 15 days. Uh, now the average is 23, 15 to 23. But gosh, I've seen many markets where it's been 30, 40, and 50 days. So it's not a heck of a lot. You know, It's still really good. Um, but that's that's true. People, things are sitting on the market a little bit. We'll talk about that in a second. How many homes do you think sold last year compared to this year, this in this last week? Well, last year it was 167 homes sold, and this year 140. So the difference is very 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 slight. Um, of course, uh, some fewer fewer homes sold. Uh, people are holding back. A lot of people um, they they can't afford the monthly payment now at a, at a higher interest rate. They just there's just not the money to get into the market. So they're going to definitely extract themselves out. Naturally, they're going to do that. And that's smart. Um, that's smart. They're going to uh, uh, prepare uh, uh, and save and, and plan for when it would be a good, uh, when they can afford to do that, when it's a better time to do that. I get you there. Um, what would be the median home sale price last year compared to this year at this time of year? Last year it was 275000 and this year it was 250000 so a $25,000 difference. Now, I want to share with you my hypothesis on this. I've seen a lot of houses, a lot of sales the last year. And in fact, some of you have too, and some of you have been involved in them. And what is the number one thing we noticed when they were having all this competition? What did the buyer have to do to win, oftentimes, over the other buyers? That's right, cash. They had to throw cash over the appraised value. They had to promise the seller, we'll give you, as, you know, a certain amount of cash, promise you that if the appraisal comes in lower. But I was noticing that extra money that people were throwing to win the bidding on these houses, really, and, and, and other realtors out there who are watching this, you will agree with me, it was between ten and 20000 which is most of the $25,000 difference that we're seeing between median sales price last year compared to this year. So my hypothesis is the party's over, but don't you don't have to go home. Um, that surplus cash, that bonus cash that the buyers were, uh, sellers were getting, that's out. But we're still, if we prepare the house well and we price it right, we're still getting a sale very quickly and we're getting a very nice value and uh, we're meeting that appraised value. It's uh, it's it's really uh, satisfying to know that Omaha has not experienced this precipitous drop in values at all. And you might say, well, I want that little extra bonus money. Well, that's the problem is, and this is the dirty little secret because the days on market is a result of, that's not a, that's not a perfect science. That's just people wanting to get that extra cash that they heard about or wanted from last year. Well, it's not going to come. So they put the house on the market on too high, and they just sit with it. Well, you know as well as I do, like the fish in the market, the longer it sits, the more it's going to have to come down at the final price and the better leverage you're going to have as a buyer. Now, it's still a seller's market. I'm not, I'm not saying it's not, but here's the deal. You as a buyer, we're going to have lots more negotiating power because those houses have been sitting. Okay, you get me? And then on the other side of it, on your buying side, you are actually not going to have to pay that bonus money, that bonus cash to get in there, and you probably won't even have to compete. And then on the seller side, hey, it's great being the only house on the market. You can, you can, you can sell strong, but don't overprice, okay? Prepare it really well and don't overprice. And, you know, it's more fair now. It's like a fair market. 
uh, not this craziness. And you know, in a sense, don't we want that? Don't we want a fair deal? Doesn't everybody think that that's probably better for all of us? I do. And some of you guys are wondering, you know, um, uh, about the seller's market. Uh, we Seller's market is five months or fewer months of inventory. That is, it takes five or fewer months for the inventory to get all used up and sold off. Do you know that it's, and that's a seller's market, right? Five months. Do you know that we're getting all of our inventory sold off right now in 1.5 months? That's how quickly we're getting that inventory used up. What does that say? You want to sell at this point if you're thinking about that transition, that move, that downsize, uh, whatever you want to do. This is the time to do it because you want to be the only one on the market. You want to be able to make that transition. Pro uh, do we want to wait until there's a lot of other houses in the market and uh, maybe interest rates are higher? I wouldn't recommend it. On the other hand, don't do something now just because this would have to be, if you look in your heart, this is what needs to happen in my life right now. This is the best thing for my myself or my family. Then you should feel confident right now uh, making that move. Please give me a call so we can talk about the details of that. But this is an excellent time to really take advantage of this time. Love to talk to you more and we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Thank you.